Yo, what's up, people? It's your boy, SciFax. And the other day, it dawned on me that everyone in the Destiny community is so worried about the weapon balance patch coming out and how the auto rifles have been shit forever and hand cannon this, hand cannon that, thorn this, thorn that. Last word, RNG. You know what I mean? I've been a part of it. When I say everyone, I include myself. And I have not seen one post or video made on how the exotic armor could use some changes. Um, if you look at the exotic armor in general, they are probably just as imbalanced uh, compared to each other as the weapons are right now. And this game is a great demonstration of Thorn's power. Uh, the other team was actually, I think, a party of six somehow, and I go 31 and 1, just shredding people with the Thorn. So, uh, enjoy that. And if we get to it, there's a gameplay part two in the background. So, I actually came up with a list of what I would do with the exotic armor and how I would change it. And I wonder if Bungie is considering. Angel of Light. I wonder if Bungie is considering changing uh, the armor because with the Taken King coming out, we can I can pretty much guarantee that the armor that's getting outclassed now will never see the light of day in uh, anyone's inventory when it rolls around. You know, 2016, like Young Amkar Spine will never be worn again. It'll just be gone. So, let's go to the list. Um, starting off with the Titan. There are four pieces I would not change. The Armamentarium, the Crest of Alpalupi, the Helm of Saint-14, and the Peregrine Greaves. These all give full stat rolls, which is something that um, exotics should just be doing no matter what. Unless it's an elect discipline split. Um, and I don't think any exotic, besides maybe something for like a warlock, should give you strength. Especially on the Titan. Shoulder charge doesn't have strength, so... <laughs> Who cares? I don't... What's even the name of the Titan melee? Everybody knows Scorch melee and Jijarine blink strike. I can't even think of the name of the Titan melee right now. So, I mean, one of them's called Disintegrate. God, what is the Striker Titan one? I have no idea. That's hilarious. So, first piece we're going to be talking about is the, the Skull Fort. The one that looks absolutely amazing, but nobody uses. Um, it gives you all discipline. It makes you give, get your melee energy on respawn, which you'd think would be great, but Titans have T-Rex arms. Um, I came up with something insane for this, and I, this is totally for PvP. I would make it so shoulder charge procs faster. Um, you know, meaning that when you start sprinting, it comes, it you build up the energy even faster than normal. That would be awesome for PvP, especially in like rumble or skirmish, where you're caught in a tight spot and you quickly sprint away, sprint away for like only. A second and a half or two and the shoulder charge them it could be completely broken but with how powerful their shotguns are it probably wouldn't even be that good eternal warrior um i think if the ram doesn't get changed um i think the eternal warrior should give you the same amount of armor boost as the ram does um but first of all, I don't even think the ram should give you the full health. I'll get that out of the way now. I think the ram should only have the Voidwalker melee triggers lifesteal on hit as its perk. I think 20 extra health points was completely excessive and unnecessary. And it makes every single other Warlock exotic piece just not as good. Because 20 extra health is better than any other situation that exotic piece can help you. And it's unfortunate. I mean, you'll you'll be seeing Ram, um, what are they called? We'll be seeing Ram Darth Sidious users. I can't remember the name of the subclass either. I'm sorry. So, Eternal Warrior, 
should just give you more armor, not just unbreakable. Helm of, no, Helm of Inmost Light um, was really popular exotic at launch. Besides the uh, no backup plans, a lot of Titan pieces like just like to just give you perks, and this one gives you two. The melee cooldown from picking up an orb should be changed. How about just gives you health, grenade, and melee? I think that would be great for exotics. We have legendaries that give you these perks. I think exotics should just give you all three. That would be a universal uh, update that I would do. And make it split intellect discipline or all intellect or all discipline. No strength, please. Um, the Mark 44 stand asides. Uh, they, they, those things are a mess right now. Get rid of the strength and then do something else because, oh my god. No backup plans. Um, on top of Force Barrier long lasting longer, I think giving you a, uh, a better overshield. Like, if Force Barrier is the same with Blessing of Light, Make it so the force barrier is like a blessing of light strength, but with the perk that makes blessing of light stronger. So instead of 25% stronger, it's 35%. Um, let's see, rune wings. Very easy change besides removing the strength. Make it so you reload heavy faster. You know, uh, in this previous DLC, we have some shoulder or gauntlets that make it so you can reload primaries or heavy faster. I think that all exotic arms, you should have the choice of whether or not you want to reload primaries, specials, or heavy faster. Or just make it primaries and specials and then give rune wings just heavy because they're completely designed around heavy, but then you reload specials faster. It doesn't make any sense. And then um, the class house, since so many people have to talk shit on it, even though it's the best, I think the best defender um, gear, better than Alpha Loopy. Make it so the the effect lasts for 20 seconds instead of 15. Default is 10. Let's just double it. 20 seconds of weapons of light. We'll see how that works in PvP. Alright, so on to the Hunter. The Arachnid Helmet is the worst exotic in the game. Worse than the Stanisides, because at least the Stanisides can be heavy ammo. Not only does it split discipline strength, it but it helps your super, but it doesn't actually help us at all. Nobody plays on the mode anymore. Nobody needs to zoom in. Alright? So instead of zooming in, how about we give Golden Gun a hundred more health? I think that would work. The symbiote is probably the most balanced exotic in the game. It gives you a full discipline roll. You get more super from your grenades, which perfectly synergizes, and it just gives you one more gold gun shot. It makes perfect sense. It's great. The bones of Ayo, don't know. Never used them. The Nighthawk, perfect place right now. The Crest of Alpha Loopy would be a great chest for Blade Dancers, but it gives all strength, and they don't give a shit about that. Would you rather have a longer lasting super with the Mask of Third Man? Or a grenade every life and heavy ammo. Or that stupid ass chest. It gives you all strength. It doesn't help your but generates more orbs. It's an easy choice. Don't touch me. I referred to earlier. Reload whatever weapon you want faster. You know, should have a choice. I think Kepri Sting is great, but it should stack with backstab and throwing knife. That would be really cool. Um, now go ahead and radar. I think it would be cool if you could have the choice to give your primaries or specials radar. And I would of course change the strength. The raspberry. I think I would just remove the chain from the lucky raspberry. Just make it so you get grenade energy. Mask of the third man. I think it would be a great idea to either give the helmet a perk. To give the helmet a perk instead of less super energy. And just... Either give it Hungering Blade or give it Encore, so you can stack. It'd be great, great idea. Radiant Dance Machines, just not strength. Young Amkar Spine, instead of making the Trip Mine last longer, how about Trip Mine Blast Radius increase? Easy change, that would work. 
because sometimes you can just slide under it, sprint through it, and I don't think that should be possible. Only like a blink through or shorter charge by it or something. Something that is actual, something that is fast, you know? And then we're on to the Warlock. Um, the Veil, I really love the exact perk of the Veil, but the other two perks, or then no, not the other two perks, the melee hits with plenty of grenade energy is, you know, it's just so legendary sounding, so I think more super for melee would be a better, um, would be a better perk. Especially in PvE, when you melee, you know, 10 thralls in a row, that stacks your super so quickly. Um, the claws, I've said this from the beginning, I think you should respawn with melee energy instead of getting two stocks. And something like Trials of Osiris, full discipline, zero strength would be incredible with these things on. Yeah, and then you just make the claws all discipline, oh my god, so good. Heart of the Practical Fire, it's fantastic, I've been using it a lot lately in Prison of Elders, it's very good. I mean, you get your melee charge so fast with no strength, I love it. The Lapion Nemesis, you gotta get rid of the full strength roll. Got to get rid of it. Nothing Manacles is fine. The Obsidian Mind, great PvE. Pure, pure Fire Robes, I'd like it to have an ammo, but it doesn't need to change. The Skull is great. And then these last three. These last three where things could get interesting. The Starfire Protocol, instead of two grenades, I would just give the chest, I'd give it a perk, and I'd give it a Radiant Will. So you could stack Radiant Will with Sunburst or Viking Funeral. And then Sunbreakers, i just make it so you get Touch of Flame instead of a longer lasting solar grenade. So you could stack a Touch of Flame with uh, Angel of Light or two fusions. So. Or you could flip that around. Sunbreakers gets radiant well. It, you know, it feeds your arms. You last longer as a sun singer. I think that would work. Um, those two exotic pieces are just so not useful. They're both all intellect. How sad is that? And then you have Void Fang. Void Fang would be. Void Fang would have never come off if it gave like an intellect discipline split. In PvP, but because it's all strength, it just is held back. And you know, you could argue that some of these pieces would be too good if they if they weren't all strength. Lucky Raspberry is like a top three exotic overall because it gives you grenade energy. It makes the second best grenade in the game even better. It gives you heavy. And it gives you your super the fastest because chess pieces have the highest rolls. So, strength on these hikes is just a joke. It's, you gotta change it. Nobody really needs their melee back faster. It's just that simple. You need your grenade back as fast as possible. You need your super. <coughs> so, the question is, is Bungie gonna do anything? We haven't had one change for exotic armor since September 5th, when this game came out? September 9th? Yet yeah, the guns have been changed multiple times. It doesn't really make any sense if you think about it, but let me know what you think. Deuces. Uh oh, no, we're not going. Let's check the score out. Oh, one kill, two kills, and... Love Starburst gets fucking raped for the three-piece medallion of iron. Hell yeah. First place on our team has 3,800 points. Let's check out this scoreboard. Please, just a good old Asylum game. And before you start telling me that the Taking King is going to have a game mode where... Kills don't depend on the score, and that holding flags is the only thing. I was never really that big of a fan of Domination Call of Duty, and as you can see, 
we probably outslayed them, except for fucking Love Starburst and Unlearned Design, who are in the same party. Oh my god, 18 kills. Stop player at 35 kills. What the fuck? <gasps> Bro. They need to put headquarters in this game and just completely change salvage into headquarters in 66. Oh, so good. It'd be so much fun.